Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Cops are on their way. I am the cops. I'm on volunteer squad. Those guys are my friends. Your word's not gonna hold a lot of sway with them. We'll see. You let me into the house. You asked me for a favor. Do yourself a favor and shut up. Well, let me just say one more thing. Your daddy should have taught you to shoot a gun instead. You listen to me. I don't want to hurt you. I just want you to let me walk out of here, go back to my life. You walk out of here and go back to yours. Nobody loses. Fair enough? No. You're incredible. Step away from me. Stop right there. Or what? Why to change your heart? Shut up and listen before I change my mind. You know how Stephen Morgan broke the case? She got a tip to toss Chris Hudson's apartment. The tip came from a cop working undercover. Same as the prints on the beer bottle. It's one plus one. And who better to plant evidence of framing in his person than a cop? Why are you looking at me when you say that? Look, if you want my help, you gotta come clean. I gotta know everything you do. I can't tell you. I made a promise. I guess you got a choice to make. Don't break your promise or help the kid. Uh-uh. No way. I am not going to do this. What do you mean? That kid, that that Mitchell, I'm not going near him. You agreed to do this community service. You said disabled. I thought, OK, Christopher Reeves, something like that. But this, I'll do jail time. Just lock me up. James. I'm serious. You got to find something else for me to do. No. I, I can't go near that. I'll no. have bad dreams tonight. You listen to me. Mitchell is a 16-year-old boy with cerebral palsy, a condition that he was born with that affects his motor system. That is all. So what, Miss J? He, he cannot hurt you. He cannot give it to you. He is nothing to be afraid of. He's only a boy who needs your help. Now, you get back in there, and you help him, or I am going to make your life as miserable as I possibly can. Mr. Boyd. Maxine Gray, DCF. I received a message from your office this morning. I've been working with your, uh, Miss Carruth. Oh. Roseland investigation. Yeah, she told me you were following the case. Well, that's why I thought you deserved to hear from us directly. Yeah, uh, no, no filing in Roseland. Sorry. Um, can you explain this to me? Because I, I can't imagine that it means what it appears to me. It means it's a non-event, Miss Gray. There's no case. We won't be filing. Have you read the transcript? Yes, I've read the transcript and I've seen the report. So clearly, there is a case. There's nothing clear about it. There's just a room full of smoke with not a flame in sight. I can't move on the conflicting statements of witnesses too young to testify. Not only witnesses, they're victims. Including one who recanted. Marissa Boswick, I have spoken with her foster mother. Marissa is prepared to testify now. She can't. She's five. That's old enough. I was mad, okay? I mean, why don't you just punish me and no. get it over with? No, no, no. You are going to explain this. I want you to talk to me. Oh, why? It's not like you ever listen. I always listen. When haven't I listened? How about going back to high school, Ma? Huh? That was it. You walked in and said, I'm going back to high school. That's all. You didn't care what anybody else thought. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You could have said something. Oh, what was I going to say, Mom? What, Mom, I don't want you there. You don't belong here. What? I mean, you were everywhere. I couldn't even have to dance to myself. I mean, I turn around, and there you are, having more fun than me. And wait, 
You told Gilda not to go out with me? I mean, what was that all about? I did not tell her not to go out with you. I said she shouldn't wait around for you to ask. There is a big difference. And besides, I was mad at you because you wouldn't listen to me when I told you that she liked you. Okay, you're right. You're right. I was stupid about that. Stupid about everything, okay? I mean, you have every right to go back to high school. You know, I don't know why I'm making such a big deal about it. Especially since it was my fault you couldn't finish the first time. Your fault? Yeah, well, you know, if I hadn't come along, you know, maybe you could have finished. Jason. Jason. You must never think that I ever regretted having you. But I could have been born at a more convenient time, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, but honey, that wasn't up to you. As if there would ever be any contest. If I had to choose between you and a high school diploma. What's the difference between monkey business shenanigans and hanky-panky? It doesn't matter if you're not doing any of them. And I'm not, I promise. Yeah, I don't believe you. Well, you think I'm lying? No. Not lying. I think you're making a promise that you think you can keep, and I know you can't. I see how you two look at each other. There's no look. Trust me. It's the same look your father and I had when we were your age. <sighs> so is she um, special? Yeah, she's amazing, Ma. I've never met anybody who enjoys life so much. You know, she makes a big deal out of everything, like from looking at the clouds to filling up ketchup bottles at the kachina. And she's so independent, you know, she always speaks her mind. You know, she kind of reminds me of you. So do you, um, love her? Yeah, I think I do. Okay. That settles it then. You gotta move out. M move out? Me? I'm sure Murph will let you move in with him. Yeah, but move out. No buts. 